Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, we're going to be talking about cryptocurrencies and other stocks. I know I've talked about this before, but if you've been watching the cryptocurrency stocks, as far as Dogecoin goes and Bitcoin, as well as Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, as well as other cryptos go, you know, seeing that how they are fluctuating and they're not really going up that much. I actually have pulled my portfolio off of uh, Robinhood, which I will pop up in this video so you guys can take a look at it so you can actually see what's going on. But I've noticed in the past couple of days the cryptocurrency has been staying at like 29 to 32 cents per share as far as Dogecoin goes, whereas Bitcoin has been in like the 30,000s. I wish I could have actually bought Bitcoin back when it was first starting out because, damn, I'd have a lot of money by now. And as far as my uh, friend out there, Tommy, goes, that's right, my friend. I got the, I got the second COVID vaccine, yes, on, um, was it? Yeah, on Saturday, actually. And the, all day yesterday, I was so out of it. I had a low-grade fever. My whole body hurt. I had a massive headache. I had no appetite. I wasn't really feeling that good at all yesterday. But today, I am feeling 100% better. I was warned about the side effects of the um, vaccine. And you know what? It's either take the vaccine, I figured it was either to take the vaccine and protect those people that actually have a compromised immune system as well as the elderly, or be like those anti vaxxers, anti maskers out there that are thinking that by taking the vaccine, they're going to become one of the government's puppets. Well, if I become a government puppet, then I guess I become a government puppet, right? But I'm, I figure I'm just going to take care of the um, senior citizens and people with compromised immune systems out there first. That's why I got the vaccine. But like I said, I mean, I have a short little uh, video for you that I actually filmed, filmed on my phone showing you my current, uh, basically, uh, stocks with Robinhood. I have a total of six apps that I actually do use on my phone to invest in. I mean, one of them gave me a free stock that... That's the only stock I have on there, and that would be, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I can almost remembered. Let's see, I remember what it's called there. How's that? So I don't know. <laughs> it is called First Trade. I signed up just so I can get the free stock to see what it was. They gave me the free stock of Nokia, which last I checked, let's uh, see my fingerprint scan, I can always ask me to do, is at $5.16. It went up by $0.09 cents today. Or should I say yesterday? And uh, we're talking about one up by nine cents on Friday. It hasn't gone up yet since the markets have been closed because of the holiday. Like I said, I use uh, Robinhood, Doe, Coinbase, First Trade, Gemini, and Crypto.com. Crypto.com gives you, uh, will waive the $2.99 fee for the first 30 days of your membership with them which I think is a joke that they're actually going to charge you to do every transaction of $2.99, which means you'll make a whole lot. I've also invested, thanks, I've invested in Gemini. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, I just backed out of it. My bad. Let's see here. Fingerprint scan, of course. Go to the biometrics. Um, I've invested $34.05 into an AMP coin. It's another form of cryptocurrency. It has not been doing too good lately. I mean, and I've also invested like five dollars into the GUSD, which is the Gemini US dollars, and they're guaranteed to stay at one dollar no matter what. But you'll also go get interest on as well. Right now, mine says I have thirty days of interest, but it's pending for the full, full, full thirty days for it to happen first. But um, like I said here, we got we we got Amp Coin, which. Like I said, right now is uh, down 0.36% for today. But like I said, it's been fluctuating just like uh, most other cryptocurrencies have. Whereas GS, G, the GUSD actually, which is a Gemini US dollar, still stays the same at $1 no matter what. That's how much it costs for you to, to get one GUSD. And Gemini does give you interest on that. I'm not sure about other uh, places that you can invest with but you have to wait for about a month to get interest on that one but like i said i have a video here right for you to show you my current portfolio on Robinhood. so i'll be right back thank you
This is for all you small time investors out there. As you notice, the cryptocurrency market is bouncing between, well, it's bouncing between a lot of different areas. Last I checked before this time was at 29 cents. It has gone up by three cents. To those big time investors that can invest millions and millions of dollars in it, that's a good profit margin. But for us small time investors that can only buy a small amount, because as you can see, I have $701 in the crypto market. market. It is still going up, and as you look, my profit was at $1 at one time, and now it's going down. But that's to be expected. But if you actually want a good profit margin buy-in thing, if you look at my top four buy-ins, SNDO, Huge, OGI, and IMCC, they're all in the green, which means they've all made me a profit. I mean, this one I have uh, 13.069005 shares. As you look at the line, it's been going up, it's going down, it's been going up. And it's basically, if you look, so far I've made $2.11 off this one alone. Now, if we go back to my other ones, the OGI, which these are all cannabis markets, mind you. You notice off this one, I've also made $1.21. which is also a cannabis company. And if you look, I've already made $2.11 off this. And I have 13, oh, I already looked at that one, didn't I? Well, I guess I, look at IMCC has that. <laughs> and it's cost me $1.76 off IMCC. But that's okay because I only have six shares and each share only cost me $4.88. And if I sell right now, I'll get $27.54 out of it compared to the fact that I've probably paid about three, three bucks for it. That's still not a bad profit margin. So basically, as you can see, I mean, if you, if you want a short-term growing process, stick with the ones that actually, yeah, they may vary, but in the long term, in the long term, the more you have, the more you make. Whereas in the cryptocurrency market, you notice last time I showed you, it was at 32.5 cent. It was at 0.325 something. Now, as you noticed, it has dropped down to 32.4. And as you look, the profit margin I've been making has been dropping as well. But I only have like 701 shares, so that's not a big deal. So if you really want a good investment market, like I said, try the one, the stocks that actually don't vary between certain things. Because if you look, they want the 32.5 again and it's going up. And as you saw, I mean, my portfolio is not that diverse as it should be, but it is, I do have like five stocks on there. Four of them are in the cannabis industry, which are actually doing very, very good. And then I got most of the rest of it in Dogecoin, which is iffy at best at this present time. But I'll let you be a judge of yourself. I mean, you, you, I mean I'm investing in both the long-term as well as the short-term gains. That's why I've invested into the cannabis stock is because... I figure it'll go up, and when it goes up, my profits will go up with it. And as far as a Dogecoin goes, since it's a, such a low amount per share, I invest in that, hoping that I'll get some short-term gains from that. And I'll keep you guys informed about that one goes as that as that one goes. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. I'll broadcast again to you probably tomorrow or Tuesday at latest. Until then, you have a great day. Bye. Oh, wait a minute here. Sorry. <laughs> Not not Tuesday, Wednesday at latest. <laughs> Sorry about that. I keep forgetting it's Memorial Day. And everyone, please have a wonderful, safe Memorial Day out there. And I'll like I said, I'll broadcast again to you either Tuesday or Wednesday. Until then, you have a great day. Bye.